The organization started around 1981, and it started because several people in the community, some attorneys, uh, saw a need for this service, and they started taking care of these um, wards. Uh, people that went through the court process found that they needed someone to represent them legally uh, for all their rights. Back then, it was called an, uh, an issue of, com of competency. You were considered incompetent if you didn't have all your faculties. That concept changed to the concept of uh, incapacity. The Public Guardian, especially as it, it's uh, laid out here in Dade County, is one that in order to get a, ward, a person to us so we can become aware of them, it has to go through the court. No one comes to our program just without having gone through due process in the courts. So the court takes, a, takes it very seriously because guardianship, although the word sounds great, I have a guardian, a guardian angel, uh, it means that that individual will have rights taken away. Our, our business is the care and the life and health and well-being of these individuals. So it's, it's not made for everybody. So you really have to have a feeling at the end of the day that you're getting something you know, personally out of it because it's, it's the care of the individual and to see that uh, improvement in the person's face. The Baptist Medical Plaza at Coral Gables has been here since 1999, so for just about 10 years now. And at this service, we offer an array of diagnostic imaging services such as mammography, ultrasound, bone density, x-ray, and MRI. Not only are the, is the um, equipment state of the art, but also all of our services are digital, which enables the radiologist to see crisper and cleaner images. We're currently in the 99th percentile for patient satisfaction. Uh, we see greater than 95% of our patients within 15 minutes, and all of our results are available within 24 hours. The Baptist Medical Plaza of Coral Gables is part of Baptist Health South Florida, which is uh, the largest non-for-profit organization, healthcare organization in South Florida. We've been an active member of the chamber for many years now and have uh, sponsored and participated in several uh, community events throughout Coral Gables. The great thing about this medical plaza is that we're open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, we're here, you don't have to go far from where you live or work, and we're here to serve you and to meet the needs of the community. The Dr. John T. McDonald Foundation came into existence in 1992 with the sale of Doctors Hospital to Health South. Uh, at that time, the, the board of directors of the hospital decided that they were going to take the money and put it into a philanthropic foundation. So that's when we got started with the mission of funding health and health related projects, uh, particularly with a focus in Coral Gables. To date, we've given away about $27 million to the community of Miami-Dade. And again, a lot of it has gone into Coral Gables, uh, particularly to the University of Miami in the last five or six years. We often fund the little guy. We like to do startup things. Somebody comes with a good idea, and it's in the health and health-related field. And there's been a number of organizations in this town that have become highly successful, and our dollars were some of the first dollars that they got. We're here to make a difference, and we will continue to do that um, for as long as we are in existence. I'm Layla Chang Ripich, the new CEO of Hands on Miami. Hands on Miami's mission is transforming communities by engaging individuals in volunteer service and strengthening nonprofits. We provide over 85 volunteer projects per month where individuals, families, and corporations can get involved in the community. We work with over 300 uh, not-for-profits throughout Miami-Dade County. Most nonprofits can't manage their own volunteer opportunities, so we do that for them. From uh, feeding the homeless, working with children, working with teenagers, pet rescue, basically anything that you might be interested in volunteering with, we have an opportunity for you. Disney has actually chosen Hands on Miami as one of the organizations where starting January 1st, if you volunteer 
volunteer at certain projects, then you will be able to get a free Disney day. So that's a great opportunity to get started volunteering and also get something in return. All you have to do is go on www.handsonmiami.org, take a five minute orientation, and then you have access to the over 85 projects that we have per month. And really now is a time to get involved and volunteer in your community. And you really need to understand how far it goes. Volunteering goes in transforming our community and actually transforming the individuals in our community as well.